Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep With Andre in the background It's date night again Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Ah, yeah. <sighs> so today is Monday, the 8th of February. Hello. Hello and welcome. Weird day. Weird week. Weird year. Everything's a bit strange. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, God. He's got... Oh, I don't know what he's doing. He's basically... I think he's using a... Clearly a carrier bag, but a mixture of other things as well. To... Um, To enjoy himself with. Yeah. Ugh. It's been a quiet day today for stats. So far. And it's, it's 20 past 11. In the evening. So it's quite a late one. I've had less than 3,000 downloads. Which is. You know, yesterday was 4,771. Day before 5,254, day before 4,418. And um, so, yeah, it's a very low day today. Maybe it's because it's snowing. <laughs> I don't know why that would make any difference at all. It really shouldn't. It's probably got more to do with the fact that I didn't make this recording. 12 hours ago or 18 hours ago because recently I've been making the recordings that let me boy to sleep like early in the morning instead of late at night mm. <sighs> oh. just massaging me Resticles. So yeah, um, it's been a weird weekend because I've been trying to get myself motivated to start work on learning how to produce videos professionally mm, sniffy as opposed to uh, like in the past well okay I'm putting myself down a bit I have used video software editing software but there have been times when I've just made a recording on the phone and just uploaded it directly to YouTube no editing, no nothing. I had the idea to try and I don't know, I just had the idea to be more professional. So I've got the computer, which I had to get in order to do this because I can't use the Adobe software on my iPad, which is a bit annoying. And the computer is noisy. I've forgotten how, forgotten how noisy PCs are. So it's not a laptop, it's an actual PC, something that I haven't had 
or having it yeah I haven't owned a PC for yeah 2004 was the last time <laughs> and now I remember, I remember why the only good thing is it's a big screen it's a big big screen which is something that I have missed a bit I like to have something to look at that's good but then I could do that anyway I could just link the iPad to a monitor which might be what I'll be doing anyway with this so I've got this thing of I got the software, the Adobe software, uh, free for a week. So this is a free trial, and then it's forty nine pounds a month. I've also got uh, a couple of places: one for music, one for video clips, like stock video images or video clips, which again cost money. But I'm on a trial with them as well. So there's lots of stuff. I kind of now know how I could make some good stuff uh, visually put together by using video clips and by using, you know, background music that's already been produced. Uh, and then putting it together and adding my voice, you know, adding my talking and stuff. And I don't know this, I've been watching video after video after video on how to use these uh, software. You know, I've really been studying it probably over about two weeks now, really. But kind of it really increased over the weekend. And today I still didn't want to do anything. I thought, oh, this isn't like me, Norm, you know. There's a little bit of a worry, I guess, that I'm going to get too caught up in it. And with that process perhaps don't give the um, the time that's needed to the podcasts which I don't want to happen and I think maybe a little bit has happened the last well the weekend at least I haven't made as many podcasts as I normally do And and then I made a video today. I've not uploaded it yet because it's not finished. But I made a video with the background music. And it's like a spiral video. It's it's a animation that I've got from this other website. So I put basically other people's stuff together, and then it's a case of adding my own recording. So I made the recording, and I put together a recording, like a an audio, it's a short relaxation recording and I uploaded that to my podcasts, the relaxation for stress and those, those yeah, you know, the relaxation podcasts. So that's there. So I've done that. It's very short though. It was like three minutes, 40 seconds or something. Too short for me. But maybe not too short for others. So what I did is, I did it anyway. I've uploaded it. There's no harm in that. It's uh, it's fresh content. It's a, 
it's a brand new recording and the music's lovely and what I did is I listened to the music as I was talking and recording which meant that I was trying to get in touch with the music if that makes sense so yeah I've done that but don't think I want to do videos this come as a little bit of a shock to me I kind of knew that I didn't want to do videos the way that I used to do them I didn't want to if I was going to do videos again go back to YouTube make videos proper videos I wanted to do it properly I wanted to do it professionally as much as possible I wanted to do it so that it looked good and everything sounded good and I've come to realise that I, I don't think I could be bothered I don't think I want I, yeah the enthusiasm isn't naturally there you know I've force myself to watch these videos and I force myself to even to get this computer which I didn't really want only for this didn't need it really well it's useful to have because the iPad is so limited in some ways and the best thing about the iPad is it's quiet silent I don't know what the what the Apple Mac uh, books like I don't know if that's quiet or if that has a, a buzzing sound but I can't make recordings when the thing's on at least I can and that is the same as when I had the the desk uh, desktop the, the laptop before I could have the microphone plugged in but I'd have to try and stick the I think at times I've even put the the laptop outside and tried to get it into a different room away from the room I'm in where I'm actually making the recording because of the buzzing sound like you know I don't think it's supposed to be that loud but maybe I'm trying to correct something that doesn't need correcting maybe maybe I should just focus my energy on the things that I was already doing and maybe just do more of it because with the going down the video route it's a lot of time it really is a lot of time involved in that stuff putting videos together and even if it's basic it's still time consuming with the rendering uh, which is the last part when basically you go from you finish the video and then you want to render it to make it all go together which can take hours and hours I mean the benefit of having the lap the, the computer is that I can render stuff including audio as well but mainly video can render stuff and then 
that's being done while I do something else. So there is a benefit of having that. I can do st have stuff being done on there while I do other things. Yeah. Another thing is moving files from the iPad to the to the PC wirelessly is it's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be a case of just you send it to your Dropbox or you send it to your whatever, wherever you want it. And then you can use it. You've got access to it wherever that you've got that uh, file with that, that, I don't know, box. <laughs> it's not really a box, but yeah, it's not that easy with the iPad for some reason. It's very slow. Might be more to do with the internet, I don't know. Maybe due to the, well, some of my files are very large really for an audio file so I'll give you an example let's have a look uh, yesterday's let me bore you to sleep was 158 megabytes um, it, sometimes it go even higher than that what on earth All oh, right, okay. Uh, 229 megabytes sometimes. But you're looking generally, yeah, 150 roughly. Which is quite a lot. It's quite a lot of, um, 150 megabytes. So 10 of those would be 1.5 gigabytes. Oh, that's a nice sound of the can crinkling. So yeah, it's quite a lot of space. It takes up quite a lot of space. And doing one of those every day fills up the storage quite quickly but then the recordings are yeah an hour long they're not three minute songs if 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 if, if they were three minute songs they would be I don't know, 10 megabytes, 20, but small amounts. Yeah. I'm still wondering about whether or not I should do that radio show. <laughs> you know, I was just, I was mildly enthusiastic about that. I think what it is, is... At the beginning of the year, which it still is, I know it's now February, but at the beginning of the year, I get... Well, I start to kind of plan the year ahead in my mind and start to think about what am I gonna do? Not just that, but what am I gonna what am I gonna do different? What can I do different to make to I wanna progress, I wanna move forward. Yeah, like I moved forward from the year before last year. I progressed and had more um, you know, downloads or listens, streams, whatever you want to call them. And I'd quite like to do that again this year. I'd like to do 
but then I'm faffing around with video software and although in looking at it I quite like to learn a bit more about using the audio software which would need again would need the PC the personal computer so to improve the quality of the audio will probably mean I need that which I think I can get for about 10 10 pounds a month so I might do that only and then I'm thinking uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's the answer I don't know I really don't know I get these big ideas sometimes and then I realise well, it's not so much they're big ideas but I'm not new to YouTube I mean it, YouTube was my my favourite go to place that was my that's where I kind of really in a way built my biggest audience but I was also podcasting at the same time so I was doing both and and I was thinking about this the other day is like how I started is I started with video see I did video before I did podcasts so on MySpace I posted a video and then I started recording the live relaxation group sessions I used to hold at the rehab drug rehab center and the alcohol charity so I used to record those and put them onto podcasts so at that time it was one or the other so I had two different types of things going on so I had videos and then I had the podcasts separate different recordings and then I learned how to make videos with audio you know so I'd I added the recordings onto a video with a just a picture background really uh, you know and then eventually it got to the point where I was recording videos uh, making videos and then converting the video into mp3s and then adding them to podcasts so I'd have a video and an mp3 which were the same so that was alright and by then we were talking YouTube um, lots of different podcast hosts loads I mean, there was a time when podcasting was really popular uh, a long time ago uh, maybe not as popular as now but it seemed quite popular for a while uh, my first podcast was two thousand and seven I think although it might have been 2006 because there was, there was different podcasts that I joined but let's say 2007 I think it was there were podcasts around in 2006 but 2007 it seemed to there was like loads 
popped up and I joined all of them just like I joined every single video um, channel that there was so you know it wasn't just YouTube now YouTube own the, the space really you know it's pretty much Vimeo are there but that's more for professional filmmakers really now and uh, people that make educational videos and use it for private videos you know for courses and stuff like that and all the others I mean there still is others but they just they're almost uh, hidden but there was a time there was a time when I probably had my videos on at least 20 if not more different video channels or different video websites some of which were way better than YouTube in some ways you know as far as the upload was quicker oh, I whistled then quicker there was one I forget it's, I forget the name of it but the upload was practically instant. I thought, well, how the hell do they do this? It was like a, a bigger and better YouTube. But I guess they ran out of money. And I think that happened to a lot of you of these video channels. Is YouTube, maybe YouTube bought them up, I don't know. And just closed them. Maybe took some of their technology. I don't. I guess this is just guesswork. I don't know. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going on what stuff that I see on TV shows and that. You know, like when a big company buys a little company. Firstly, to get rid of the competition, but at the same time, to maybe use some of their technology that they like. There was lots and lots of you, you know, YouTube like. In fact, at the time, shut up. They weren't even classed. Can you hear him? How noisy is that, Andre? What are you doing? He just crawled out, and he's got his girlfriend with him. Slipper. He looks knackered. He's crawling his way to the water. I know he's drinking. <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, so there is this. What was I saying? Um. It wasn't even an alternative to YouTube. These were just other video platforms. You know, YouTube wasn't that uh, ingrained in our society as it is now. Or, you know, this is, I know YouTube's been around for quite a while. I don't even know how long. Is it 2000? I think they might have arisen in 2004, but YouTube started when? Okay, called to this 15th of February 2005. Um, So it says here, YouTube first uploaded 15 years ago. Uh, they uploaded a video, me at the zoo, and it's one of the people that worked there. Um, oh. I'm 
let's have a look at this right according to this the first YouTube channel was um, April 2005 now I guess it was probably maybe it was 2006 uh, that I discovered YouTube And the first thing I did when I discovered it is, oh, I'll make a video. I wonder no one's ever thought of this. I bet no one's ever even thought about making a hypnosis video. So I went and did it. Now, I'm pretty sure my channel was 2007. So maybe I had a channel before that as well. I don't know. But I know I definitely had a channel in 2007. Um, but I genuinely thought I was the only one to make a hypnosis video. And in fairness, I was one of the only ones to do it. I was one of the first ones. But I wasn't the first one at all. <laughs> there were some people already doing it, but not many. You know, I was there uh, yeah, you could probably f you could probably fit the amount of people that were making hypnosis videos on YouTube. you can fit those people in a minibus. When I started, there was a handful. But I didn't know there was anyone else doing it. I genuinely thought I was the first. It was an, I thought it was an original idea, but it weren't. Uh, the same as when I started the podcast. I thought, well, I searched. Bearing in mind, I was doing videos on MySpace first. And then I changed over to Facebook. God, he's, he's so noisy. You know, he's asleep so much of the time. And then when he's awake, when he's properly, proper awake, he's such a pain. <laughs> so noisy. I wish I'd kept a diary of the progression and what I'd done and when I did it but I didn't all I can say is I know where I was living when I started it I know that I started the it's in January 2006 I ordered I think 50,000 maybe 100,000 I don't remember but a lot of postcards advertising the free pain relief service that I decided to push because I'd started it in 2004 didn't get any interest uh, had a website and everything and I decided 2006 January I'm gonna really pump it up and give it everything and I did and it was successful I started getting people interested and then probably April time is when I started to when I yeah started doing the relaxation groups at the rehab center place so I was doing those two things started the videos so yeah 2006 started the videos on MySpace I think what it is I think YouTube didn't become really well known until about 2007 in the UK I think that might be what it is it wasn't I don't think it was like an instant success I only found out about it from a friend and 
I was, uh, well, I'd like to think that I've always been fairly up on what's going on online. Maybe less less now than before, but but for things like this, for videos and for, um, I mean, back in those days, there was no Instagram or I don't think Twitter was around yet. Facebook wasn't around yet, not till I think 2007. So social networking, there was loads of social network sites, most of which have gone. Loads and loads. Some of them aiming at different age groups, different, even different um, ethnicities. I joined all of them. I didn't care. I joined all of them. Uh, there was ones for Mexican people, there was ones for, uh, some were more kind of dating, dating things really. There were no apps, it was all websites. And I joined every single one that there was and I posted my videos on every single one that I could. I shared the video or I uploaded the video depending on what was available. Now he's in the kitchen making noise. Oh dear. Mm. So. I suppose it's about progression, isn't it? I'm talking, my, I'm talking myself into making the videos now. It's about progressing. I just need to I, uh, uh, I'm not really a social networking fan I'm not so good with I share my stuff and I have a bit of contact with some people and you know I post my recordings or stuff like that but on Facebook and Twitter I'm on Instagram and I've no doubt I'd get a lot a lot more people following me if I actually did anything on there what's the other one Instagram um I don't know. I feel I prefer someone else to do it all for me. <laughs> because I'm lazy. So lazy. Oh, it's been snowing, by the way. Snowing all day, all night and all day. Like at the front of the house, it was on the road. Yesterday, the snow had not settled at all. Now, completely settled. And I went outside briefly in the garden. And it's about four inches snow. And I'm quite pleased, really because as far as I'm concerned if four inches can disrupt the whole country then four inches is impressive as far as I'm concerned four inches is impressive if it can disrupt the whole country so there that's why I think they call it this the beast from the east and it's a term they used a couple of years ago quite violent isn't it a bit aggressive the beast from the east it's weather <laughs> it's just weather come on the beast
beast from the east. It's like not only is it being aggressive, but it's blaming. It's from the east. It's Russia, Russia, China. I don't know wherever the east is. Like, stop blaming. The old toddler. It's them to blame. Child. Stop it. Stop blaming everybody. So, yeah, I was, um, oh, what was I doing? I was doing some te some, um, What was I doing? Yeah, um, I was at, yeah, that was it. That was the whole thing. Normally when it snows, I go out, but I didn't need to go out yesterday or today or Saturday. But I think it would be useful to go out. I think it would probably be helpful for me to actually leave the house and go somewhere, you know? Yes, indeed, go somewhere. I didn't even know where, but somewhere. Hmm, so I don't know what you think, should I? Uh, is it just, is it a procrastination of me making these videos? Because I do know my way around a bit of software. You know, I've been around a long time. I've used a lot of different softwares. Um, editing audio software, editing video software. Just not the Adobe one but the Adobe one is among the best that there is. So I'm starting to think, you know what? I might as well do this properly. I'm gonna do it, do it properly. Use the best equipment, use the best software that I can afford to do and make it the best I can make it. But at the same time, <laughs> I've got a ferret in the background running around and doing weird things with carrier bags. So how perfect does the sound really need to be? <laughs> I'm still going to have that. Oh, the other, I was watching this uh, vlog uh, of James Buckley. He's from the Inbetweeners. And I'm I'm a fan of the TV show and I just I like watching his videos because he's funny and he's real and you know and his 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 wife is wow so but anyway he was there on a set with another with a man talking and he kept complaining about the kids he he was complaining about his kids making so much noise I couldn't hear anything couldn't hear any any noise from the kids. And what they did is they changed the sound. So I guess during the editing, they changed the sound or someone was the other side of the camera. So you could hear what they could hear. And the kids was dancing and singing and shouting and everything. But the level, the way they had their microphone set up, there's no sound. And they were using the same microphones as what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna grab the little Andre. Oh yes. Oh. Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Hmm. Aren't you a beautiful boy? Where did you come from? He's really weird. He started making some weird noise. Like 
His tummy's going. Are you nervous? Are you a nervous Nelly? Well, you got, you've got nothing to be nervous about. You're everything you need. You're safe as you could ever be. You've got your daddy and nothing's going to happen to you while I'm with you. You're safe. Admittedly, your diet's probably a bit boring, eating the same kind of stuff every day. But I do give you eggs tonight. Why are you twitching so much? You got as much love as you could ever get in a whole world from an elderly man like me. The thing is, what he misses, well, he doesn't miss it because he hasn't had it, but. I think he'd be a lot happier if he had kids, you know, if he was in a family home. But then if he was in a family home, he'd probably spend most of his time in a cage. But when he wasn't in the cage, he'd have so much fun playing with the kids and running around, wouldn't you? Are you happy? Are you happy with your daddy? <laughs> Are you happy? We had some fun though, didn't we, when you was little? We used to chase around and... Do you want to get down? Okay, bye. He didn't want to be touched. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, this is, uh, I've got the TV on mute, and then they've got this ambulance program on, and really, why do they show stuff like that? It's grim, so really, shush. Ugh, that's put me off my supper, that did. Anyway, I've turned it over now. I have to, I don't turn the TV off because, let's stop, because the TV clicks a lot when it's turned off. But secondly, because there was actually something that I wanted to look at <laughs> uh, that didn't need volume. It was just like this documentary about something that was interesting. It was on television, was it Channel 5, something? Yeah. So maybe I should go to the garage. Yeah. The bull, but it's just a boo boo. Perhaps I should take up knitting. Maybe I need a new hobby. But do I have a hobby? I remember my dad saying to the to me years ago that this is a hobby, and I remember how annoyed I was by that statement. Because having devoted so much of my life to to doing what I do, I didn't never classed it as a hobby. It was a a vacation and something to sort of devote my life to, you know. Haven't had many messages. Mm. No. It's 
So I don't know, I'm going to decide tonight, before I go to bed, which will be in a few hours time, I'm going to decide whether or not I am going to pursue the YouTube, or you know, go back down that route. Not instead of the podcasts, but as well as. So I'll make that decision closer to the time of deciding. Which, that's a weird sentence. I'll make that decision closer to the time of when I decide to make the decision. But it's going to be, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'd like... See, I'm not sure. Admittedly, I've made, I haven't made as many recordings lately as normal. So it's a bit of a, it was a bit of a slow January for me. Recording wise. But at the same time, wow. I, they must be behind on their stats because I'm still under two under 3,000 for yesterday, or for Monday rather, which will be yesterday soon. How can that be the case, really? That doesn't even seem possible. I mean, let me have a look. Let me just see how many recordings I did in January, okay? So, so far this month, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, I've done twelve recordings this month so far. It's only the 8th of February, so it's not that bad, really, is it? Anyway, January, I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay, I lost count. I'll do it again. Over 40 anyway. But I'll give you the exact amount. Right. 1, 2, 3... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, to do, to the view, to four, to do five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six. 48, 49, 50, 51, 53, 53 recordings in January. So, what was that, 50 for you? It's just under two a day, isn't it? Andre. really winding me up he's making as much noise as he can so 53 recordings I think that they've got the stats wrong 
before today or yesterday because it's so low how can it be so low it was decided they don't love me anymore oh no no under just under three thousand that's ridiculous and that's with having made one earlier admittedly it was a three minute long relaxation session so not sure how many people that would appeal to I can relax in three minutes sometimes I can relax in two minutes 52 seconds sometimes when I'm watching or listening to something especially like a YouTube video a 10 minute video can really last for ages and three minutes is quite a long time sometimes The hills are alive with the smell of farting. Do -do -do. Do -do. Andre. I can't be bothered, it was me, it was me. Oh, nah, I don't do something yeah, sometimes. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. I think I'm talking myself towards maybe if I stop putting myself under so much pressure and I just think of it as some fun yeah how about that think of making videos and learning to use the software as fun like a new learning a new skill which it is maybe reaching a different audience on YouTube to the one I used to have and maybe I mean is it is it that I'm scared of hard work I don't think so but then this difference between hard work and isn't it I mean spending three weeks putting together a website can be hard work but at the same time it could be easy because it's just copy paste copy paste putting in information embed in a video the changing titles and stuff like that it could be easy really but hard work and learning to use you know software is a challenge I suppose I'm a little bit between me and you I'm a little bit concerned that I will get caught up in it and become a bit obsessed with the software aspect of it and wanted to become really good at the production of videos and editing and all that stuff instead of actually producing content I mean for me the most important thing is the content if I start to lose that 
I mean, it's part of the reason I don't do vlogs uh, the way I used to. I remember I, you know, I always did hypnosis videos, hypnosis recordings, uh, just filmed myself and uploaded them. And then I started vlogging, making, you know, the, the vlogs, talking about myself and things like that. And, you know, they were quite popular on the channel, you know, compared to, in comparison to other videos on my channel not in comparison to anybody else's videos. And I think I started to, well, I did, I started to do more of them and started to enjoy <clears throat> making the vlogs more than making the hypnosis stuff. Which led to yeah probably a bit of a divide in the audience and there was those people that preferred the vlogs to the hypnosis and those that preferred the hypnosis but then again I started off with one sole real aim all those years ago and that was to help people with chronic pain nothing else chronic pain I did relaxation because as far as I was concerned that was just another chronic pain relief session without calling it that And as time went by, can you do more relaxation sessions? Oh, we love your sleep sessions. Can you do more sleep sessions? To the point where I just became a sleepy person. Yeah, that's kind of all I was really known for is just making sleep recordings or maybe relaxation recordings. And I'm not, not moaning about it because I found, well, I was guided towards it using feedback from my audience. They told me what they wanted, so I gave them what they asked for. But in the process, I, I almost gave up on my dream, which was to help people with chronic pain. That was the only thing I was interested in, genuinely. I had no interest in relaxation or sending people to sleep. I wanted, you know, the challenge of doing pain relief was, I loved it, especially face to face. Being able to adapt and manipulate and, you know, do whatever it takes to change the the way that someone feels physically is a challenge and it's a real buzz it's probably I would say a bigger buzz than being on stage and doing like a really, really, really good gig. It's a bigger, for me, a bigger buzz than that. Because it had meaning, it had meaning. And that gave my life meaning. So that's something I'd perhaps look to do in the future, I don't know. I'd like to... You know what I could do? Maybe change the YouTube channel to Pain Relief.
have three strands, relaxation, pain relief and sleep, which seems to be the three things that I have well, done most of, although it's mainly sleep followed by relaxation. Pain relief is, I mean, to me, that comes with relaxing anyway. I used to have that on my website back in, I don't know, 2004 or 2006, 2005, one of them. Um, pain, uh, increased relaxation equals decreased or, or something like more, more rela increased relaxation equals less pain. Something like that. It was ever so clever. It was, it was so clever. Yeah, I have to think this through. I have to think it through. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself lots of love